Here we go then, uh, so we get the green flag and we have eight and a half minutes of this race remaining. Nicholas Nielsen flashing his lights in the hope that he can distract uh, Fuminelli just for a moment. He has got the inside line now, but Sam, he's nothing like close enough, is he? No, not close enough there. Wasn't the best restart from uh, Nielsen. Fuminelli was busy weaving and then went straight from a weave straight into an acceleration into Parabolica. It worked really well for him. So around Curva Grande now goes uh, Nicholas Nielsen then. But the chase is on to David Fuminelli, but I have to say Fuminelli absolutely nailed that restart and uh, has left and put all the pressure on Nielsen, who's got to get within terms. But Fuminelli really shortcuts that chicane. Now, he hasn't gained a position, but he's gained a bit of an advantage, Sam. Very naughty, and I think the stewards might have a little look at that. Fuminelli's experienced enough, though. He might just back the pace off and, and let the gap reduce a bit to say look i made a mistake there we go so that they can look at the they can look at the uh, data and say oh well do you know what he has accepted that status he's got quo. an advantage yeah it's status quo now so uh, fuminelli then local driver lives in lesmo and uh, nicholas nielsen uh, of course has raced so phenomenally well this season for formula racing from denmark and has really made his mark on the ferrari challenge has won the Trofeo Pirelli Pro Championship with ease, it has to be said. And now he's chasing down David Fuminelli for the one title that he would love to grab, which is that of the world champion across all three regions, Asia, Asia Pacific and North America and Europe as well. On board with David Fuminelli as he accelerates this uh, incredible uh, Ferrari 488 car, the first turbo car ever in the uh, Ferrari Challenge. Start finish straight now, heading towards the chicane. Just watch how Niklas Nielsen will try and get closer under braking as we go into that chicane now. He dives to the inside, and Nielsen does edge ever closer to David Fuminelli. Fuminelli over the curbs. We can almost feel that with this uh, onboard uh, shot that we had. Absolutely fantastic, but again, just looks like with only six minutes of this race remaining, uh, Nielsen was marginally quicker last lap, Sam. He was, but uh, I'm not sure where he's got enough here. I'm okay. just not sure. A warning flag to car number two for track limits at turn four. Yep, he's uh, he's played his joker card now. He can't do that again. No. I think uh, I don't think that'll worry him too much. It was a big mistake, and he sure. he used the the runoff area, and he stayed in front. Fine, slap on the wrist. He won't be doing that again. So Fuminelli runs just a little bit wider there. Nicholas Nielsen was a tad tidier. Uh, now this is uh, Thomas Oroka. So uh, <coughs> the uh, battle scar Thomas Oroka car from that uh, incident which uh, brought out the safety car uh, just uh, a short while ago. But Thomas Oroka still running in the race. So uh, Fuminelli once again from Niklas Nielsen, from Jens Liebhauser, then Fabian Volvend and, and uh, Sam Smith with Rinaldi Hutesoy, Peter Ludwig and Sean Hudspeth and uh, Martin Nelson he is uh, currently running in uh, P9. The, uh, rounding out the top 10 is Ross Choust. So, leader in uh, the AMS is uh, Fabian Volvend. Leader in the pros is, of course, David Fuminelli. And uh, here this battle between uh, Fuminelli and Nielsen continues to rage and Again, Nielsen to the outside of uh, David Fuminelli now. Will he try and go underneath? No, 289 kilometers per hour through the speed trap. And with four and a half minutes left, we are running out of time here, Sam. He is, I think he's, I think he's run out of ideas. Yeah, you Fuminelli's, might be right. Fuminelli's just parking the car on the inside, saying, you can go around the outside of me, give it a go, but I'm not gonna let you. And it's, Right now, as I said, it's a game of chess and David Fuminelli's winning. Yeah. So they take plenty of curb. Uh, the suspension within these uh, 488 Challenge cars is forgiving. All <laughs> you see Sam Smith getting very sideways there in the all yellow car, uh, running in that P5 position at the moment. Now, what Nielsen wants is for Fuminelli to make the tiniest of error, and that's all it would take, isn't it, Sam? Just one small error if Nielsen is close enough to be able to pounce. Put the pressure on, focus on your exits, get the job done. It's easier said than done, yeah, though. Yeah, of course. As he's now right behind going into Ascari, which isn't normally an overtaking spot. Is he going to give it a go? No, he's just showing the door, 
trying to put the pressure on, apply the pressure. Now, a good exit here is what he needs. That's the best run he's had through there all day. So now he's going to be really close going into Parabolica. If he can get it done around the outside, this is the time to do it. This is as close as he's this been. This is as close as it's been all race. So, set up off Ascari. He goes he to go. the inside now. Well, to be fair to Fuminelli, he allowed Absolutely him. Absolutely fantastic. He Absolutely allowed him room. Absolutely fantastic. He could have closed the door and it would have been a race probably ending instant for both of them. But now Fuminelli is welded to him, Sam. This is going to be a fight all the way. Can Nielsen defend as well as Fuminelli got, has done? He's got two laps to go now. Two laps to go. Fuminelli will not have liked that one bit. He got absolutely mugged there going into Parabolica. As they touch, they touch again. And they've both gone straight. They've both gone straight on. Uh, oh, Fuminelli. No, I'm sorry. That's not... Fuminelli's going to have to give that place back. Yes. Yes, he is. I mean, we love to see the fight between the two of them. Neither of them were going to be able to make that turn, and they didn't. Oh, this is, if he doesn't give that back, this, this thing's going to be won in the steward's room. So hopefully oh, he gives it back. Oh, please not. Please not. David, just let Nicolas go by because... As I think he's going to now, I think that's what he's... Is that what he's doing? No, no he, he isn't, is. Sam. No, he isn't. And they're both slow, you know. They're both as if they've both got damaged. Do you know what? This could be going to Lenz. Lenz <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Fabian Volven could get in, involved in the mix. We've got two laps to go here at Monza in what has been a chaos of a yes. final. And we're still none the wiser as to who's going to win this race. Well, here comes Nielsen, who's trying to have to do it all over again. And I really think this is unjust, Sam. Neither of them should have shortcutted the chicane, but they had to. However, Nielsen was ahead of Fuminelli. No, Therefore, the correct, the correct thing when you miss that first chicane is you have to go down the escape route, take the chicane, and carry on. Fuminelli did not he do went that, across the and grass. therefore had another. Ah, the move's been done. Ah, Fuminelli's been clever. He's let him go by in Parabolica, so he knows he can have another go into turn one. I'm so glad we've got you with us, Sam because you're able to tell us exactly why a move like that has happened. So, so now, look, Nielsen's trying to break the toe. We're into the last lap. He's trying to move around the straight now, try and break the toe. But we're going to see, we're going to see a move here. Look, absolutely late breaking. Just enough room left, wasn't there? He didn't run him out. Minelli's going for the cutback. Good acceleration. Liebhazer could be the beneficiary here. Oh... But not, not the best drive. He hit him just on the exit, the corner on initial acceleration. And that's just given Nielsen a, little a bit slight. Of a... It's given him an advantage and Fuminelli a disadvantage. He's got two more chances, I think. And that's one of them gone. The, right. last, the last chance for me is he's got to set him up going into Parabolica. Well, Nielsen has been giving a warning, been given a warning flag. Uh, this, uh, please, please, what we want is whatever happens on track is for that to be the result. Yes. Um, I think Fuminelli is, I think he's lost it now. I don't think he's close enough to Nicolas no, Nielsen, not, is he? Not, no, he's, uh, Nielsen's got a tiny bit of breathing room now. Unless he makes a small mistake, a small lock up here or, or misses an apex, I think this is, this is game over. Well... It has been, as Sam Bird alongside me has said, it's been a chaotic race. Uh, but in its own way, it's been a breathtaking race as well, particularly over this uh, lap and the last lap. So there is Nielsen, who is leading the race from David Fuminelli, who's throwing absolutely everything at it. But it's only this turn to do, the Parabolica. Please bear in mind, a warning flag has been shown to Niklas Nielsen, but we hope it's going to finish as they head towards the checkered flag. In this order, Niklas Nielsen becomes the world champion. David Fuminelli is P2. Jens Liebhauser is P3. Fabian Volvend wins the AM classification ahead of Sam Smith, a pro driver. Then it's Rinaldi Hutasoy, P2 in the AMs, and P3 in the AMs in the world final will be Martin Nelson. Sam Bird, what a race. Oof. I mean, I was worried that we weren't going to get too much racing today, but we got plenty at the end of that. Absolutely extraordinary. I mean, the move that he set up on, on Fuminelli, he jinked left, 
Fuminelli then jinked left, and then he dived to the inside. It That's was fantastic. Was that not the selling of the dummy? You know, absolute selling of the dummy. Yes, it was. It, it said to Fuminelli, "I'm coming down the inside, whether you like it or not." If you turn in, we will both be out of this race. And now, what are you going to do about it? Is what basically Nicholas did with his car, and it was absolutely fantastic. Here it is, Sam. Here we go. Talk about it. To the it. outside, dive to the inside. There we go. And you saw Fuminelli have to turn out again because he thought, "Oh my God! Well, if if we if we both touch here, then we're both out of the race." There, that, and he just has to turn out. You see, that was reminiscent of a move in DTM this year between Timo Glock and Gary Paffett, where they did actually just touch. And here's the other one. See, now... See, I think that's naughty from Fuminelli. He did give the place back. That's absolutely fine. And that's but he did fair. it where he wanted to. He did do it where he wanted to. Um, wow, absolutely extraordinary. Extraordinary. Well, world final... Uh, a Trofeo Pirelli race, amazing. Niklas Nielsen, David Fuminelli, Jens Liebhauser, head of uh, Fabian Volvend, then the winner in the AMS, R Rinaldi Hutasoy, second in the AMS, and Martin Nelson, third in the AMS. See, the pace between the, the front few was not... No. N you know, it was very, very close. Fabian Volvend able to, to be within the same... 10th pretty much as Nicholas Nielsen the pace today was not super fast but boy was it exciting absolutely